Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Will and today I'm going to show you how to install Racing Life for Automobilista 2. This for me personally is an absolute game changer in the career mode and it really does bring some life and some sort of incentive to have a really good championship. Anyway, so let's get into it. I'll show you just how good it is and I'll show you a few little tweaks as well that are important if you're going to do a single race or a multiple race that you need to set it up right. Right, let's get into it. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to race department's website if you haven't signed up on here at all i highly recommend it it's really really good you've got mods for all types of sim games it's absolutely brilliant i'm sure most of you are anyway so just ignore that but yeah follow the link and you will see racing life ms2 career mode i'll leave it down in the description down below and probably up here somewhere as well click on the download button and you'll start downloading and i'll show you how to extract it and install it into the right position now once you've downloaded it you should find yourself you have a zip file in your downloads Either unlock it with 7-zip or RIMRA, whatever you prefer, whatever you've got on your system. So double click on the file, it should open it up and you should have something like this. For me personally, I find the easiest way to do it is just to install it onto your desktop. You can delete it afterwards, it's perfectly fine. So drag that over onto your desktop, somewhere like here. Let that install and what you should have is something that looks a little bit like this. Boom, there we go. So click on this and it should bring up the installer for you. Then you're gonna to go to next and then you do not want to install it in a program file. So you don't wanna go C drive program files. You need to put it somewhere else. Again, this is perfectly fine to put it in your game folder, though it does unlock a lot of files. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna install it on a raw file. So my D drive is gonna go on there and I'm gonna install it directly onto there. So it's not on program files. Click on okay, come across just for me. Click next installation and I'll let that install. Now once that's installed you should see an icon like this on your desktop racing live you then want to double click on this and it will bring up the game menu boom beautiful so this will be the first time you're going into it you're going to want to go to new career click on this one right here right so put in your name i'll put in my name so we've got will and my made up name so you can't find me uh so you can choose which you want in terms of uh choosing your backstory is your money and your fame so if you do sim racer you get given five thousand pound for instance amateur racer 15 and you get 15 fame your fame is linked to the races you can enter but you gain fame from races that you compete in so i'm going to stick with sim racer as the basics then you want to go down to ams2 folder and you want to locate the game so it should be in your steam folder so go into there and just literally find the folder am automobilista 2 and then select that folder down here once you've done that you want to come to dlc track configs you want to select all the tracks that you own in the game if you only own certain ones tick those but as I own all of them because they're absolutely fantastic and they're on a discount as well so try and get the discount um, because they're a real bargain at the moment so once you've done that we'll come out and then we'll go to start racing live so click on this and you'll see this menu here so the first thing I did was to go to competition to have a look to see what other races are available in January and as you can see here you've got some kart races copper classic B class Copper Classic FL Class, Copper Uno and GT World Challenge. But the GT World Challenge isn't available yet because you can see driver fame is 35 and we have zero at the moment because we've done zero races. And also prize money is really good and registration fee is 24,000. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go for a Copper Classic B Class and I'll show you how to get the car without spending too much money. So you come to your car dealership up here and you'll see the car options you've got. Now you've got 5,000, you could buy the go-kart and do the go-kart competition if you wish. But what we're going to do, we're going to come down and we're going to find the Copper Classic B Class. I'm going to pick the Chevrolet Chevette, but instead of me buying it because I can't afford it, I'm going to lease this. So I'm going to click on leasing and a one time payment of 910 per month payment of 390. And after that, I'm going to have about four grand. So I'm going to lease that car and it should be in my garage if I check up here. Boom, lovely jubbly. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and enter a race and put this car into the race and so we can set it up. So back on the competition menu, I'm gonna click, click on the Copper Classic B class, which is here. Now this is where it gets important that you make sure you set up the right races in Automobilista 2. So here we can see we've got four races. We've got a race in January, uh, two races in January and two races in February. Now when you're setting this up in Automobilista 2, if you've got more than one race in the schedule, you have to go into the championship mode in Automobilista 2 and set up a four race race championship the reason behind this is because that at the end of your fourth race you're asked to have your ch 
championship results which is based on your position and you have to fill the information in if you used to do each race as a single race you won't know which position you came in in the championship so that's why it's really important to do it that way but if you do a single race you don't have to do that you can just literally put in the one race and the one information and obviously the championship result will be where you finish in that single race so what i'll do now i'll show you how to go through we'll pretend we're doing the races in automobilista we'll go through each one and i'll pretend to make up some figures and then i'll show you how to move along and put in all the information so what we're going to do now we're going to register for the race click on this we've now got our car registered because we have the right car so we're going to go into advanced here and then we're going to go to start so we would have gone into the race in automobilista 2 we've had a race we can say we qualified the 11th and then the race result was maybe we come second and then we'll once that race is over we'll come back into the companion app and we'll click on finish and as you can see there we've earned 0.72 fame so then sponsor money earned is zero i'll show you sponsors a little bit later on how you can get them and how you set them up as well so once we've done that race you can see we've had one race uh, one podium because we magically came in a good position so what we're going to do now is go to advanced onto the next race in january which you can see here so click on advance and you can see the next race is already there for january 2022 so we'll click on start we'll be in automobilist 2 we'll be doing a race trying to stay on the road not crashing and then we're going to come back here qualifying result let's say we came fifth and then we we won the race but say we've done that so then we we'll go to finish you can see we've got 0.81 and again sponsor money earned zero click on ok come back out and you see we've got two races now two podiums and one win yay and so now that's the second race in january and what we're going to do now we're going to advance again which will take us out of this month so we'll go advanced and now we're into february as you can see here so once you're in february we know we've got the third race in the competition so we know that that race is going to allow us to go back into the game have that race we'll come back to this companion again go to advanced and say so we go to this so we click on start and so we can say our result here was maybe we come six and then we came eighth in this one then we're going to go to finish after we've obviously completed the race and you can see we've got 0.15 earned and again sponsor money zero click on ok go back into automobilist 2 again do your fourth and final race come back here into the companion go to advance again start qualification result again let's just say first and first championship result let's say we came second now this is where it's important that you set the championship up in automobilista 2 so you know your position or your final position in the championship sort of race that you've had for the competition so i'm going to say i came second out of the 10 15 cars that were in it and i should do finish and now you can see uh, championship prize money earned 11,250 sponsor money zero championship fame earned 5.48 and race result earned 0.68 so there's the results and we've got it all completed with the information so you can click on ok now from that and now what we want to do we want to probably look at doing another competition so we'll come back to competitions here let's have a look around so we're in february so we've got a few more options here but we've still got fame limitations here we've only got about four or five fame from that race and so we can't enter the american stock car series we can't do the world endurance championship either and we can't do the lmp4 cup so for this one what i'm going to choose is the volkswagen hot Volkswagen Volkswagen Hot Car Cup, which is a zero fame requirement, but it's going to cost 11. No, sorry, I'll get 11,500 as a reward, and the registration fee is 920. So I'm going to select this one and see what car I need for this. So what I'll do, I'll go into the car dealership. I'll come up here. I need to find a Volkswagen. So I'm going to choose the Volkswagen Goal, which I think is a Golf. Again, I'm going to lease this car, take that in, and I'm going to go back to my garage now. And then where I had my uh, Copper Classic B class, I'm going to now stop leasing this because now I finished it. I'm not going to do any more of those races. So I'll, I'll get rid of that. And now I've got my car for this. So then what I'll do, I'll go back to competition again. I'll select the Volkswagen Hot Car Cup and we'll go to register now because we've got the car. Click on OK. And then what we'll do now, you can see we've got five stages for this. So if I click on it again, you see we've got five races. So we've got one from February, two in March, and two in April. So just like before, what I've done before, because there's five races for this, set it up in the game as a competition, and this will give you the right championship points. I've said that too many times. Now, coming to the sponsors, you should get a sponsor, I think, after your first race or maybe your first competition. So you want to come into finances up here. Click on here, and you can see... Now, before we do that, actually... You can get bank loans as well if you wanted to make uh, a large loan, for instance. You can do that duration. 
that's if you want to go straight into a bigger competition with a car but again you it's a bit of waste if you haven't got the fame for it so let's go to the sponsors which is here and you can see we've got some offers now we've got something from otto never heard of otto uh, uber eats and media market uh, so i'm gonna go for uber eats i think that's a good deal so this will allow us to gain some money now per races and again if you look at it uh, per race payment is 165 duration is seven races the goal is to get top 10 so i'm guessing you won't get that maybe or you won't get your bonus payment if you don't get in the top 10 so that's your sponsor now so you should earn a little bit extra cash which should help you buy a better car so guys i hope this has helped you a lot i did do this video before but i was so tired it was really really bad and so i tried to redo it again after work at three in the morning uh, if you found this video really helpful don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up if you like this sort of content and want to see some more things like this please subscribe it keeps me motivated it keeps me sitting here in the dark and doing these videos for you guys and uh, for those that have always been here for a long time thank you so much thank you so much for sticking by and watching and i should hopefully catch you next one enjoy racing life because it's absolutely brilliant thank you for watching see ya bye bye